Hello. Hello, teacher. everyone. Hi, how are you this evening? Hello. Hold on, wait for everyone. One second. Hello, hello. How are you guys? All good? Oh, good. Hello, teacher. Hi, <laughs> how are you? So, so. So, so. Why? See. See. <laughs> it should be great. Why not? Okay, welcome, everyone. Um, um, hold on. Estoy aceptando a todos que entren. To this exclusive group. All right. Welcome everyone. Give me one second. Okay. Um, yeah. Todos están en mute porque escucho background noise. Escucho sonido así atrás. Okay, so mute it, please. Well, my name is Jocelyn Navas. You can call me Josie. Josie, all right. I will be with you for the next month. You're, you guys are in intermediate two. So I understand you speak English already, right? I'll be happy to be working with you. Eh, para todos es nuevo este programa. O alguien ya había estado antes. Acuérdense que están en mute, así que no escucho a nadie a menos que enciendan su micrófono. Todos son nuevos. No escucho a nadie. Esperen. Hi, how are you? Hi. I was studying in the last class, right. the last course. Uh -huh. The maybe it's the 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 first course. Okay. Good. Good. ¿Quién es nuevo? Levanten así la mano. If you're new. Nadie. Okay. So you know how it works. Okay. Great. So look, we're going to just review some of the rules, okay? Hold on. So I'll write down my name, okay? Remember you have to, about the platform. Todos ya tienen acceso a la plataforma. Yes. ¿Sí? Do yes. It? Yes, teacher. Yes, no, no, teacher. No crean que les voy a estar hablando en español, solo hoy. Okay? Solo para, for the rules, okay? Make sure. Bueno, yo creo que ya lo saben, pero eh, lo más importante es que completemos la plataforma, ¿verdad? Lo vamos a hacer en clase todas las noches, así que si usted está en clase, no es necesario que, que lo haga adicionalmente, pero si se las pierde, sí. Igual para repasar lo pueden hacer. Y tienen que completarla con un 85%, si no me equivoco. Okay. We're going to be speaking English only. Okay. Todos están en el grupo de WhatsApp. Yes. Y no esté, avísame, porque eso es súper importante. Ahí voy a estar mandándole... Mi Mi teacher. Who is that? What is your name? Benjamin Cepeda, teacher. Benjamin. Benjamin. Usted no está en el grupo de WhatsApp. No, I am not. All right. So, um, you have to check your email and the link is there. Maybe I can send it to you later. Pero si, para ir avanzando, déjame ver, Benjamin. Para ir avanzando, si gusta, por favor, váyase a su email. Y okay. eh, ahí están los detalles, le da acceso a WhatsApp web o ingrese con su teléfono, quizá. Eh, sí lo he estado haciendo, teacher, pero um, no me han respondido y la, el correo con el que me respondieron solo fue de confirmación de este grupo. Solamente, pero no, no me dan la información del grupo de WhatsApp. Bueno, la, acá lo tengo ya. Ya se lo envío. Déjenme ver. Ok, eh, si todos tienen acceso a la plataforma y a WhatsApp, estamos bien. Disculpe, eh, bueno, nosotros anteriormente teníamos un grupo en WhatsApp. Me uh -huh. Imagino que se mantiene el módulo, eh, en el módulo 1. No sé si es el mismo. 
porque como han cerrado la mayoría, Teacher, es otro. Es, lo voy a enviar acá. Group. Yeah, right. Sí, yo creo que es diferente, así que todos deberían estar en el nuevo, si no, no van a recibir la información que les mandé hoy. No, no sé que no sé en el nuevo. Sí, en el nuevo. Déjenme ver. Acá lo tengo. Les voy a enviar acá el link, pero tienen que ingresarlo desde, desde WhatsApp. Oh, bueno. Se lo voy a uh, pasar por acá. Ahí está. Ahí está el link. Si están desde su computadora, lo pueden ingresar por WhatsApp web y si no, pues por el teléfono y directamente los toma al grupo. Pero este es el nuevo grupo. Ok, so everybody has to access this one. Bueno, um, es requisito que tengan su cámara encendida. Veo al más de la mitad con la cámara apagada. Así que les pido por favor que la enciendan. Hay alguien que no tenga cámara. Ok. En mi caso, mi teléfono no reconoce mi Lisa, cámara. Ok. Entonces usted en todo el curso no va a poder utilizar su cámara, me imagino. Yeah, maybe. Ok. Todos los demás, sí, tenemos que encenderla, por favor. Benjamín, Carla, Marvin, Lisette. Michelle, no la veo, Brian, and Stephanie. All right, so, um, hay que intentar reducir el sonido, ¿verdad? De si están viendo televisión, alejarse, apagarla, o personas que estén hablando, niños jugando, intentar estar un poco lejos para no interrumpir mucho. Ok, so please, that is very important. Miren, yo estoy acá con una pared de fondo para que no se atraviese nadie y lo vean en medio de clase, ¿verdad? Así que ustedes también podrían hacer algo así. <ríe> Vamos a ver saliendo alguien de la puerta de Delia, por ejemplo. <ríe> ya la vi, Delia. So be careful, that's about it. And what else? Um, nothing. This week, we will meet from Tuesday to Friday, all right? But next week, it's going to be the regular schedule from Monday to Thursday. So this okay. week is an exception because we started, you know, in a rush, sort of. Do you have questions? No, it's okay. All good? Ready to start? All right. All right. So everybody go with me, please. We're going to go to the... We're going to go to the platform and begin there. So access that with me, please. We can start working. Do you have questions? Anybody? Problems with the platform, with the group, something? All right. So here we are. Hold on. There are a lot of people accessing right now. So I'm not needing them. Everybody access the platform with me, please. Let's go to section one. Uh, can you read the objective, Enrique Ortega? Yes. Read the objective, please. Uh, okay. Um, this lesson? In this lesson, teacher? Yes, go ahead, continue. Okay, in this lesson, participants will listen and practice a conversation between family members. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Everybody mute your microphone, please. We're gonna watch. Pay attention to the pronunciation of the conversation. Hi, welcome to this new course. 
This time you will not only listen to a conversation, but you will also notice two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Pay attention to turn down, pick up, and so on. Try to write them down as they will help you for later usage. Listen and practice. Jason, Jason, turn down the TV, please. Oh, but this is my favorite program. I know, but it's very loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's better. Thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the floor. In a minute, Mom. I'm on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as you hang up. Okay, no problem. Goodness, were we like this when we were kids? Definitely. As they. Okay. Um. Can you notice where we have phrasal verbs or two part verbs, meaning you have a verb and you have a preposition? Can you see them? Let's identify it in the dialogue. Where can you see them? That's better. It's one, right? No, it's usually a verb and a preposition. Can you see those verbs in the dialogue? Pick up. Pick up, right? Pick up. One. Very good. Turn down. Turn down, awesome. Here we have turn it down. It's still the same. Turn down. We have more. Hang up. Hang up. Hang up. Hang up. Yeah. Very good, okay. Those are some examples of phrasal verbs, which we're gonna study later. The first thing I want you to do is to practice a dialogue, all right? So one person will be Mr. Field and the next person will be Jason. Yeah, let's just practice the dialogue, okay? We're gonna work in pairs. And again, I'll send this to a group, but take a screenshot guys, because we're gonna practice, all right? For instance, Eduardo and Rebecca are going to work together. So Eduardo will be Mr. Field, Rebecca will be Jason, and then when you finish, you switch. So Rebecca will be Mr. Field and Eduardo will be Jason. All right. I want you to practice both. Okay. Take a screenshot and let's practice. Everybody turn your cameras on, please. I have uh, people who just joined and they don't have them on. I don't see Juanjo, for instance, Stephanie, Vladimir. Let's turn the cameras on so we can interact. I can get to know you. I can see your beautiful faces and hair and everything. All right, <laughs> turn them on, please. Let's practice. So we're gonna work in pairs. I'll send an invitation right now. Accept the invitation, everyone. Let's practice the dialogue, okay? Go ahead. Click on accept or tap on accept. Uh -huh. sí. eh, bueno, yo, yo la tengo por acá. Eh, ok, starting. Eh, I am Mr. First Jackson. Eh, Jackson, uh -huh. turn on the TV, please. Oh, but. This is my favorite program. Uh, 
I know, but it's very, very low. Okay, I'll turn it down. That's beer. Thank you. Over the floor. In a minute, Mom, I on the phone. All right, but do it as soon as soon as you hang up. Grab your things. They're all oh, over the floor. floor. Wait, this is my too. Ah, yes. <laughs> uh -huh, sorry, Lisa. Please pick up your thing. They are all over the floor. In a minute, Mom. Okay. okay. I took a, a screenshot, so I have a good resolution myself. <laughs> yeah, me too. Okay. So, okay, I'll turn it down. That's better, thanks. Lisa, please pick up your things. They're all over the, the conversation. The compare the, the information. Yeah. Yes, uh, I have. Will, and, and Vladimir, I don't see you guys. Sorry, I have problem <laughs> with my camera now. Maybe tomorrow can I turn it on? Tomorrow, okay, okay. So there you are. Good. We see you now. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. It's a pleasure to meet you. And Vladimir, <sighs> tomorrow I hope to see you then. Yeah, because now it's yes, tomorrow, a requirement tomorrow. to turn your cameras on. Yep. Okay. That's good. Have you practiced? Um, no yet. Wait. Try it because everybody's almost finished. Okay, let me. I have the conversation. Teacher. Yes. We had a problem because my, my classmate don't, don't have the picture in, in the WhatsApp chat. And I only read the, the, the conversation alone. <laughs> oh, are you not in the WhatsApp group, Carl? No. You're not. And what about the platform? Uh, eh, perdón, pero estaba en el anterior group. Ah, ok, ahora sí me aparece. Lo voy a agregar entonces. Mm -hmm. What is the pronunciation in the... Definitely, it's, it's possible. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Sí, es en el nuevo grupo, eh, Carla. Pero también está en la plataforma, el, la conversación en, en la sección 1. Ay. Ok, pero bueno. Yeah. We have to go back now. Ok. Yeah, because the majority finished. Okay, who was able to practice? Who practiced? Raise your hand. Hi. Some people didn't practice. Um, we, sent a, we sent a picture to a WhatsApp group, but that is an additional thing, all right, in case it's useful for you. The idea anyway is to have the, to have the platform open. So you can access it at any time, all right? And the dialogue on the platform as well. All right, let's continue anyway. If you have any questions at any point, let me know, please, because I don't know, there might be some people who are new, who are not used to this program. So I would like to hear from you, all right? Continue here. So let's go on the platform, section 1.2, and we're gonna study those phrasal verbs. Read the in this lesson, you will practice using two power verbs to make requests. Okay, very good. Thank you. <coughs> Let's watch and see what it is about. 
Hello, we're now moving to the explanation of two part verbs or phrasal verbs. Get your pen and notebooks ready and follow us for better understanding. Two part verbs will for responding to requests with nouns. Turn down the TV. Turn the TV down. Pick up your things. Pick your things up. With pronouns. Turn it down. Pick them up. Requests and responses. Please turn down the music. Okay, I'll turn it down. Pick up your clothes, please. All right, I'll pick them up. Let's talk about two part verbs or phrasal verbs. These types of verbs are made up of two parts a verb plus a particle. For example, put off. Put is the verb and off is the particle. It is also important to know that two part verbs can change in meaning. The verb put means to place and put off means to postpone. Let's move on talking about two part verbs with nouns. If the object is a noun, for example, TV, car, computer, can come before or after the particle. Read the following examples with me. The noise woke the giant up. Or, the noise woke up the giant. Both sentences are correct. Now, when the object of the two-part verb is a pronoun, it can only come between the verb and the particle. Pick him up. He keeps putting it off. Call her back. As a final note, when you use the same verb with a different particle, the meaning changes. For example, put plus off means to postpone. Put plus on means to cover your body with clothes. Put plus back means to return something to its original place. We will finish this explanation by adding that two-part verbs or phrasal verbs are very common, especially in formal English. Now that you have identified phrasal verbs, we want you to write some examples. Write on our discussion box one sentence using a phrasal verb with a noun and another sentence with a pronoun. Okay. Um, Responses. Let's read. Read after me. Okay. Say, turn down the TV. Repeat after me, guys. It's easy. Okay. Turn the TV down. Turn the TV down. Pick up your things. Pick up your things. Pick your things up. Pick your things up. Turn it down. Turn it down. Turn it down. Pick them up. Pick them up. Pick them up. Please turn down the music. Please turn down the music. Okay, I'll turn it down. Okay, I'll turn, turn it down. Turn it down. down. Pick up your clothes, please. 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 All right, I'll pick them up. Okay. All right, I'll pick them up. All right, look. These are some of the phrasal verbs. We have pick up is one of them. Not all phrasal verbs are separable, guys, but some of them are. In this case, the ones that you're studying, they can be together or they can be split. So you have three ways of saying this. Pay attention. In, for instance, you can say pick up the toys. Pick up the, the toys, okay, let's say that. You can say pick the toys up or you can say pick them up. The only thing you cannot say is pick up them. This is the only thing that is incorrect, okay? So in these cases, you have three options. That's what I want you to keep in mind because it's useful, all right? This is incorrect. Everything else is okay. This is a phrase verb, so I need you to help me conjugate the rest of them. Let's pick up. 
uh, we're gonna do the same with the other verbs, okay? For instance, we have wake up, okay? So I can say three things. I can say wake the kids up. What else? What are my two other options? Similar to this, guys. The first one is, oh no, I gave you the second one. This one. This is this, all right? I have two other ways of saying this. How? Look, this is number one, two, and three, except this one is incorrect. So wake the kids up. And I have two more options. What are they? Wake up the, wake kids. Up the kids. Very good. Wake up the kids. And there's one more. Wake them up. Wake them up. Wake them up. Very good. Uh, make sure you pronounce everything. This M, you're going to say the map, the map, like this. And make sure this K sounds, okay? Wake them up. Great. Can I say wake up them? Is that okay? Nope. It's not. Another verb. We're going to say drop off. And I will say drop off the package. What is the meaning of drop off? Any idea? What? Package? What's the meaning of drop off? Oh, drop off is like, uh, like mail. What? The what? Uh, when you, uh, what can I say? When you go to the mail and drop off the, the letter or, I don't know mm -hmm. if I can. Yes, yes, I yes. Can that is right. Okay, look, drop off is the opposite of pick up. It's the opposite of pick up. For example, guys, you can say, um, I will pick up my children. Give you examples. I will pick up my children from school at, what time do they finish school, guys? Uh, some of them finish at, 5 p.m., right? Can't remember anymore. 5 p.m., I'm gonna say. So, you pick up your children at 5 p.m. and you drop off your children at... One o'clock. Seven, seven a.m. They study all day long. So you understand? First you, first you drop them off and then you pick them up, okay? You can do that with things and with people. Anyway, let's go back. So three ways of saying drop off. Drop off the package. What else? Two other ways. Come on, quickly, guys. Help me out. Drop the package off. Drop the package off. What else? And one more. Drop the mouth. No, it's only one, but it's close. What is it, Pedro? The mouth. But it's singular, guys. Yeah. Them is plural. Yeah. yeah. Only one. It. Drop it. it yes. Off. Drop it off. Yeah. Very good. It's only one. Good. Drop. Is that clear? How you're going to conjugate it? Is it clear? Or you need one more yes. example. Let's do one more example. Okay, what's the meaning of put off? To put off is to postpone. Put don't don't forget this. It's to postpone when you say put off. So what is something that we can put off? Um, for example, last night, the... Um, let me see the, the starting date, okay? La fecha de inicio. The starting date of our course was put off, right? Fue pospuesta, yes or no? Yes. Or for today, for Tuesday. So this is a real example. It was put off. And I can conjugate it in different ways. The starting date. 
was put off or put off the starting day, put it off, all right? That's an example. So I need you to remember the meaning of them. Let's go back to the video. Do you have questions? Uh, I can use any verbs or only that? No, it's not applicable for all verbs. In reality, we have a thousand, I don't know how many phrase cell verbs, we have a bunch of them, but the thing is that not all of them are scarable. So this thing, okay. the fact that we can say it in three different ways is only for the verbs we're studying right now. Only for those. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we have to pay attention to the ones here. Hey guys, when you watch a video, this is a general thing I want you to do, okay? Eh, los que ya estuvieron en cursos anteriores, quizá habrán visto que hay videos que duran 10 minutos, o no. Do you remember? Y yes. yes. <laughs> ¿Alguna vez escuché a alguien? Ya durmiéndose <laughs> al minuto nueve. <laughs> it's not okay, it's not cool, <laughs> but it happens. So what I recommend you do is, uh, I need you to have a notebook at all times, all right? Yeah. You need to have a notebook for class, all right? Y cuando estén viendo cualquier video, necesito por favor que anoten todo lo que está diciendo. Como si el video fuera una clase y ustedes están tomando notas, ¿sí? Porque si les pregunto yo después, ¿cuáles eran los verbos? What are the, the phrasal verbs? Ya no se acuerdan y lo acabamos de ver. Okay, they're right here. Y creo que no los anotaron, pero acá están. Okay, let's write them down. Let's fix it. So, look, we have wake up. Write it down. Wake up. You need to know the verbs we're studying. And we have some other examples here. Pick up. Okay, call back. We have to add it. Call back. Add it to the list. Right, call back. What else did you write? Put off. Put on. And put back. At the end. Plus on means or phrasal verbs are very common, especially in formal English using a phrasal verb. So this is the list that you have to have. Make sure you have all of them. Put off, put on, pick up, right? Drop off, wake up, put back, and call back. Do you have all of them in the notebook? Yeah? Yes. Okay, do you know the meaning for all of them? You know the meanings? Okay, help me out. So put off, the meaning is, we just said it. Postpone, what's the meaning of put on? And it could be to wear something. For example, oh, I'm going to put on my jacket. Okay, so mm -hmm. put it on. All right, pick up. Lift something. Yeah, to lift something or even even someone, right? Yeah. Drop off is the opposite of pick up. What to wake up is to awake. Put back is to return something to its original place. Okay, and call back is? To return a call, awesome. Those are the definitions you have to have. And now with the definitions, we can practice. Yes. What we have. All right, so look at the image. We're going to use the right phrasal verb here. Um, mm -hmm. I want you to do this together. So look, guys, it's section 1.4. I'm going to mute your microphones. All right. Look at this. We have some images, right? The books, the toys, the radio. Read them with me. I want you to see the pronunciation. I want you to hear it. So repeat. The books, 
the book, the toys, the books, the, books. the toys, the radio, the radio, the radio. Your jacket, your jacket, your jacket, your jacket. Your jacket. Your jacket. Your your jacket. Your TV, guard, TV, light. your boots, Twice. your, your boots. Boots. boots, 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 the yard, boot. the yard, the yard. The lights, the, the light. light, the trash. The trash. The the trash. Trash. Like that, That's right? Good. The and the dog. Yeah. Uno solo, okay? Just one email. Guys, stay away from the background noise. <laughs> so look, let's do this exercise. You have the phrase over here. I need you to add them, please. Okay. Add these phrase verbs to the list on the notebook when you finish. I need you to add them, please. Put them here. So Let's do this exercise. We're going to do it in groups of three. Everybody go to section 1.4 and write down the correct word. So pick up, what do you think it is? Pick up the books, the toys, the radio, your jacket. What do you think it is? The toys. The toys. The toys. I think it's the toys. So, and continue. All right, let's do that in, in groups of, in pairs, actually. So accept the invitation, go to this section, and let's do it. One second. Accept the invitation, please. Let's do this exercise and write them, add them to the list. Accept, accept. Let's do it quickly. Section 1.4, accept the invitation. Computer, because I can say the, the activity. But I try. Let me see. Turn off is okay. It's, um, are you on the platform? Yes, I had, but I had problem because um, the computer don't. Oh. Let me see. Number two. Um, five, me, you, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Number one, pick up the yes. toy, please. Mm -hmm. Number two, turn the radio off, please. Tiendolos. Discutiendo lo que se iba a trabajar. Okay. Pero si gusta, podemos, podemos irlo discutiendo con la información que usted tiene ahí. Ok, porque según se nos presentan 10 figuras, estamos hablando de the books, the toys, the radio, the jacket, TV. Boots, the jar, the light, the trash, trash, y the dog. Y debemos de ir poniendo prácticamente según lo que creamos convenientes cada frase. Por ejemplo, la primera se nos aparece como pick up, el espacio. You got it? No, no lo encuentro. Eh, bueno, es que no... 1.4 Hi teacher. No, no Hi. Eh, I have problem with the app because I use my phone. No, no encontraba eh, la actividad en la plataforma. And did you find it already? You found it, Marvin? 
este, no, no lo encontré. One este, que no, one, one number eh, eh, es la lección. 1.4. And you, Vladimir? I take a screenshot because I have problem with the app. Wait. Because I use for iOS. Ah. And the app say, your action could not be complete. Reload. And I reload and say the, the same advertisement. The but same I take word. a screenshot. Screenshot. Yes, a screenshot. And do you have uh, a I have number one, number two, and number three. No, no. Yeah, because sometimes you will have to work on the platform. That's weird. Check yes, it later. Maybe, maybe I can. Yes, maybe tomorrow I put mm -hmm. one. Yeah, because you have some time, but, you will have to use a platform. Okay. And and be in the video call at the same time, so. But I have the number one, number two, number three. Number one, uh, pick up the toys, please. Number two, Thor. Thor. Thor, the light off, please. Number three, clean, clean, let me see, clean the yard up, please. Yeah. Oh. You're going to have the rest of them. They are 10. Oh, I, total. I don't have. Okay. Let me send that to the group. But yeah, let's see later. Okay. Okay, I sent them to WhatsApp. Can you see WhatsApp? Yes. Yes. I got it. Excellent. Yeah, and you, Marvin, eh, no, no, no sé por qué no encuentra. Está en el curso anterior, quizá. Sí, teacher, me había, disculpe, teacher, ahí I have a question. Okay. Adelante, teacher, I have a question. Uh -huh. Where are you from? I'm from El Salvador, but I live in Argentina right now. But I'm Salvadorian. <laughs> I'm Salvadorian because your phone number. Yeah, but I live in Argentina right now. Is it strange for me? <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Argentina. Buenos Aires? Yes, exactly. All right, let's it's continue. It's a good weather there. Sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. The thing is... That's okay. It's okay. Okay, I have number some people that are lonely. Is... Hold on, that are alone here. The yes, weather, okay. no, it's really cold right now. <laughs> Super cold. Here, here is raining. That's beautiful, but now it's like six degrees Celsius here, so it's cold. All right, I'll be back. Yes. Yeah, Let's see. I don't understand that put off is a postpone. 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 Como quien, de, como quien deja, déjalo salir. Entonces ahí se ve la figura del perrito que quiere salir afuera y cabe perfectamente. Please, let the dog out. <laughs> so, do dice? you have access to the platform? Uh, in this moment, in this moment, I can, I can access because uh, I don't have the information, teacher. Really? And I don't... I don't see you either. You don't have the information of the of the platform, seriously? Yes, I don't I don't see. I don't can you I don't know. I don't know because <clears throat> ah, okay. Mm. That is the link. Right. Access there. Accese a esa plataforma. No sé qué si le dieron un usuario. Entonces tiene que. Yes. Eh, eh, sí. Yeah. Ahorita, in this moment, in this moment, I can access uh, the 
I, I. You were able to access it. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Very good. Very good. Ya, Lenin, eh, eh, ya no le va a tener que escribir todo. <laughs> ya puedo accesar. So, thank you for eh, being patient, eh, Lenin. The, the problem for okay. me is uh, uh, I, in, I try. I try, mm -hmm. I try for the for my computer because the my computer I don't can access uh, only my only my my cell phone. Uh, no, maybe it's the login. I don't think it's the computer. I think it's it's the information. So check the email because you have all the details there. All right. Okay. Tiene que estar listo para mañana. Y si tiene problemas, ahí escribió alguien diciendo tiene problemas para accesar. Ese número es el que le da soporte. Okay, thank you. But yeah, you have, we have to be ready for tomorrow. We're going to go okay. back now. So who, who finished? No, teacher. You didn't finish? No, teacher. No. <laughs> <laughs> who finished? Nobody? Really? <laughs> Really? Okay. We what have happened? many problems. Oh, teacher, yes, tell me. Teacher, I have method. a question. Difficult. I am a little confused with put away, put off, put back, and put, uh, put on. Okay. And did you check the definitions? Ah, put away. Look. Take this, take a screenshot of this. Guys, can you take a screenshot and send it to a group so that we have the definitions? Please, let's collaborate. Teacher, because put away is postponer. No, y put away, put no. Put away is to put something where it belongs. Okay, for example, if you say, hey, put away your books, you have to take them to the bookshelf. Put away the, the, the shoes. You have to take them to the closet. So to the place where they belong, that's put away. What else are you confused with? Sorry. What other phrase of verb? ¿Quién me estaba preguntando? Who was asking? What's your name? Okay. Uh, you have questions about the phrasal verbs, guys? Put back. Is is the same meaning? No, put back is to return something to the original place. It's different. Okay, imagine yes. it's it's like this. All right, let me show you guys. Okay, can you see me? I don't yes. see Lee. Okay, Lee said she already told me. Saul, Stephanie, a lot of people. Anyway, so look at this, guys. Mm, let's see this. What can I get? Imagine, imagine I'm a baby right now, right, or something, and the keys, the keys are here on a table, all right, and I take them, and, and then probably my mom would say, hey, put them back, so I, I'm like, oh, okay, oops, and I put it back. You, you understand that? So you put it back where it was. That's it. And if I say put away, it's you have to take it to the place that you have assigned in your house. So what is the, the, the position for, I don't know, for the dishes? If they're in my room and you say, hey, put away the dishes, I have to take them back to the kitchen, right? To the, to the shelf or to the cabinets. You understand that's put away. So it's not the same. Put it back is simply put it where it was. Put it back where it was. All right, is that clear? I guess it is. But look at, yeah, no, we're gonna say to its original place. So meaning where it was, that's it. That is a difference. Try to memorize the definitions for tomorrow, please, because we're gonna continue practicing and uh, this might be confusing. Okay, you have questions? How many partners exist? <laughs> That's a difficult question. Hundreds. Let's see if we can find okay. a question, uh, if we can find the answer. So, how many? Maybe we have an answer for that. Three self are there. 
Over 10,000. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> We're dead. I didn't know that. 10,000 phrase overs. Thank you for asking that question. Now I know. All right, okay. bye, bye. we're going to start with that. Yes, guys, the only thing you can do is try to memorize them right now so that we can make progress because this is never ending. Please study them for tomorrow, okay? We don't have homework. Just study that for tomorrow. So, um, ya mañana, bueno, quizá. Nunca les hablo en español, son la primera clase y la última, ¿ok? But yeah, no veo a Saúl, Vladimir ya me dijo que mañana, Irania. <ríe> Saúl me estaba engañando. <ríe> Se había tomado una foto así como que estaba en clase y yo me la creí por un rato. Zaira, Benjamín. Ahora es requisito tenerla encendida, así que estemos listos. Sí. Um, yo sé que ahora okay, fue un poco teacher. complicado porque unos uh -huh. no tenían WhatsApp, no tenían la plataforma, les tenían que explicar al otro y eso, pero ya mañana espero que todo esté listo. En caso de que tengan problemas con, con David, la persona que escribió al grupo que dijo están teniendo problemas para conectarse, a esa persona le escriben en caso de que no puedan accesar WhatsApp o el grupo okay, o, o la plataforma, porque mañana ya tenemos que estar listos con eso, tener la plataforma abierta y para que no tengamos eh, más delays, no lo puedo decir. Okay. ¿Alguna pregunta? Um, ¿Al, ¿Alguna dirección donde podamos eh, eh, ver más información sobre, sobre la clase de hoy para aclarar más dudas? No sé, ¿algún sitio? ¿Algún sitio web? No, lo que pasa es que si le doy un sitio web de phrasal verbs, se van a confundir porque si le doy 10.000, ah, okay. se va a morir. Okay. No sé qué le va a pasar. Okay. Okay. Entonces, okay. Entonces, entonces empecemos con esto, con la imagen okay. que les envié acá. Uh -huh. Y memorícense la definición. Okay. No ha terminado el tema, vamos a seguir eh, trabajando con esto mañana y probablemente en la siguiente clase. Uh -huh. Entonces espero que para entonces les quede claro, pero hay que empezar uh -huh. por acá con la definición. Yo, teacher, okay. este, yes. yo, yo quedé un poco confundida con el put. Tengo que buscar bien el significado de cada uno para poder entender, porque si no, no voy a entender. The put away, put back. Ajá. No, lo que puede hacer, no, si quieren re, eh, reforzar este tema, les sugiero hacer esto. Eso es algo que pueden hacer entonces. Pongan el phrasal verb les costó, put away, y ponen examples. Entonces van a encontrar mm -hmm. examples. Okay. Van a encontrar mm -hmm. ejemplos de esto en oraciones. Así les va a quedar más okay. claro el significado. <risa> Esa para mí lo voy a anotar acá de darles más ejemplos mañana, para que quede claro. Y lo vamos a hablar. No ha terminado el tema. Pero ustedes por su parte pongan cualquier phrasal verb de lo que hemos visto, por ejemplo, drop off y examples. Y, de, y anotar los ejemplos. Okay. Okay. Bueno. Eh, ¿Alguna otra cosa? No. Mañana espero que tengamos una mejor clase, que ya todos tengamos acceso, para que vayamos un poco más, no más rápido, sino en orden. Poder puesto. Uh -huh, go ahead. Eh, in your WhatsApp, ¿le podemos hacer preguntas? Ya, yeah, exacto. Exactly. Hay que matar un Yes, you can. Totally. Okay. Ah, por cierto, antes que se me acabe el tiempo, eh, mándenme su nombre, por favor. Ay, oigo un niño hablando, espérame. Lo voy a poner en mute. Ahí está. Eh, mándenme su nombre y apellido por WhatsApp. Así los, uh, los registro y estoy pendiente también. Vamos a tomar una foto antes que se acabe. Por eso necesito ver su rostro, porque eh, los que no estén en clase les voy a escribir personalmente para preguntar qué pasó. Antes de que tenga que escribirles para preguntar qué pasó, prefiero que ustedes me escriban o al grupo o al personal diciéndome qué sucede, porque van a estar ausentes. ¿okay? Porque yo comparo eh, la foto con el nombre que tengo registrado y si no ha dicho nada, les escribo. Porque es importante que estemos en clase siempre. Okay. Así que bueno, tomémonos una foto. Let's take a picture. Ready? 
y me mandan su nombre, voy a mandar el mío también, todo solo el nombre, eso es todo lo que necesito para agendarlos, ¿ok? So, one, on the count of three, one, two, two, three. <laughs> Thank you. Se me quedó, quiero ver alguien. No, everybody's here, I think. All right, thank you guys. Questions? Ready for tomorrow then? Yep, Teacher, all good. Mm -hmm. que no estamos en WhatsApp, eh, bueno, mañana tendríamos que mandarle el nombre, me imagino. Sí, sí, para guardarlo. Eh, ah. Mandé el, el link por acá, a los que no tenían. Okay. Déjeme ver otra vez. Voy a volver a enviar. Acá lo envío, pero ya nos vamos, así que no sé. Ahí está. Si le puedo dar clic a tiempo, bueno. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Si no, revisen su correo y le da clic y luego envía su nombre. Okay. All right, guys, I have to go. I will see you tomorrow, everyone. Please be in class. All right, thank you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher.